Hey guys, welcome to The Boogeyman. This is the third game in Yuri's The Strange Man series, which started with The Crooked Man and then was The Sandman. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous game in this series, don't worry about it. It's not directly related. Um, I'm probably not going to play them just because I've already played them to death, because they were pretty good. Now this one actually got something a little bit new going on. There's some voice acting, which I saw when I went and did my camera alignment and all that, so that's pretty exciting. Hadn't been done here before. Now, as you can tell, I finally got a new headset, so that's great. A little warning not to make money off this game and things like that. Uh, your phone... Ringing. Are you asleep? No, no. I was just thinking. About what, sir? How's the suspect doing? Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so... Oops. Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know? Wondering what's even the point in calling you. Ah, sir! He's coming out! Uh-oh! What? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in at think she's with him? This isn't good. We'll be able to arrest a guy like this. Let's go. I'll squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. Hold on a second, sir. She might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. Tyranny strikes again. The cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman, forever traumatized. We tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. The visitor's entrance is that way. Seems that he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. Well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal, nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. Reporters, am I right? I can read gossip myself. I don't need you reading it out loud. Keith, you're a real hit with these guys. This is a fourth article by my account. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him. And stretch your wings a bit. Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. I'm ordering you as your superior. If you don't want to travel, consider it house arrest instead. You aren't fit to bear the brunt of the media. I can handle the rest real well. So, go on, take a break from the crime scene. Hey, but I didn't say you have to twirl your thumbs at home for a month, right? Here's a little present. There's this old castle we're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Truth is, me and the wife are gonna go, but I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Now, put down the gun and the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? Go home for today. You can hand over your work tomorrow. 
just one thing. Enough of the blaring music you can hear in the hallway. Enough of the blaring music you can hear in the hallway. Oh, I was really digging the music. Welcome home. How was work? Same as usual. You look tired. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh yes, I get a fantastic present from Mr. Anderson's wife. Look at these, honey. Two invitations. A three-day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Dick already told me. Gave me some time off for it, too. Well, if you aren't too tired, I'd like to go myself. What do you think? If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. Thanks, honey. I can't wait. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Night. Good night. Oh, I'm in control. used say this guy's never done battle before oh no run key all right can't talk to random people okay I guess we're going for a bit of realism here talk to anybody. Hmm. F, control, caps lock, C, X, C. Well, this is interesting. I've been waiting for you. Oh. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be your guide for this tour. Thanks. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Making myself look like an idiot right out of the gate. Wow, what a ship. The five hour trip to the island should go by in no time. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head out later. You go on ahead. All right. Oh, I should probably go ahead and tell you guys where I've been and why I haven't been posting anything lately. I started graduate school, which is, you know, really exciting. Yeah. Don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Nasty tongue on you, huh? You bet. I was born with it. Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. You said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. But, Papa... Sophie? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Old man. Come on, Papa, let's get some ice cream at the lounge. 
My apologies for that. Is she your daughter? Yes, she's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. Oh yes, she's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. Excitement is one thing. When she tried to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision, if she talked to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. <laughs> You're very right, but I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. I'm Richard Grundler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. Keith Berry. Did you come alone? No, with my wife. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. Huh. As I was saying, grad school. Super exciting. Except it leaves me with... No, grad school five days a week, work the other two. The only reason I'm recording today is because I actually have a day off for the first time in... No, I had a Labor Day off, but I didn't have my headset then. Anyway, I'm gonna... Mmm, ice cream. Papa, let me have a bite. Here you are. <laughs> but don't put on too many pounds, all right? I can exercise it off. I'm fine. Huh. I'm going to try to start getting back into a more regular schedule. But don't be surprised if there's days or even weeks where I just disappear with no explanation. Well, I'm giving you the explanation now. I'm probably working in a lab or something. Keith, this is Shirley. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Same. She came here with her husband. Oh yes, where is he now? He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. I hope I don't have to remember who hey, all these people are. What's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Oh, let me guess. You're with the men in black? Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses. Or a neuralizer. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? The tea here is delicious. You like tea? Absolutely. What about you? Sorry, I can't stand the stuff. Yeah, I'm with you there. Let me some sweet tea, but black tea, green tea, uh, no thanks. Keep bearing. Who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? I'm Lance Canal. So what brings you here? Murder <laughs> on the ship? I don't know why that name's so funny to me. Or are you gonna cause one yourself, detective? Lance Canal. You must have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. That's all it is. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Photographer. Don't you worry. I don't take pictures for any of those sleazy magazines. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. Yeah. Good luck with that. I'll be watching, detective. Let's see, where haven't I been? Nice weather today, don't you agree? Sure is. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship, and it's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. Keith Barry, detective. 
David Hoover. Detective, huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those police dramas. But why the suit? Old habit. Never been on a ship except for the job. Did you come alone? No, I came with my wife. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. Came down with something? He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. So I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. The Grundlers? Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. Enjoy yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. I suddenly remember that in The Sandman, some of the characters from the first game made kind of cameo appearances. Oh my gosh! Look at the size of that! It's fantastic! It really is! I can't wait to take a look inside. Man, it's like the kind of place there'd be a murder case on an old cop show. Oh, stop being such an oddball! <laughs> oh, I get it. You're telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. Hello? It's Stevie from N.A. Travel. Hello? Brendan, are you there? Okay, they're here. Is everybody ready? Nigel, your tie's slipping. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Matt, your glasses are... Well, they're still lame. <laughs> right. Time to greet the guests. Welcome, welcome! I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leading them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, the Grundlers, Mr. David, and Mrs. Shirley, and last but not least, the Bearings. They came in Sandy Anderson's. <laughs> what a delight! Young guy, you take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. It'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. Keith, look! The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember when we went to France and you... Shouldn't you answer that? It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. This guy's I'm almost. What the others are up to? I'll go take a look. Are you coming, honey? Not right now. Later. This guy's almost as bad about answering his phone as my mom. Well, that's it for this part. I'll see you guys in the next one.